culture, the tradition, the passion for the sport of wrestling is unprecedented uh, at Iowa State University. We talk a lot to young men about walking in the footsteps of Dan Gable, the Kale Sanderson's, the Jake Varners, and so on and so on, the Nate Cars, Tim Kriegers. Look at the character of each and every one of those individuals that I just mentioned. There are hundreds, if not thousands, more men just like them. They might not all have gold medals, but they're men of character. And I think that more than anything else is what Iowa State's all about. Harold Nichols definitely wasn't a coach that you would stereotype. He had his own ways. Uh, he had a coaching style that was nobody else was doing. Uh, and he actually made you, helped you grow up. He helped you grow up because you had to become a person that was like thinking ahead. There's been a spirit about the school uh, that um, permits young men to come and dream, wanting to improve, wanting to learn and better themselves in a lot of different aspects, not just wrestling, but wrestling has been one of them. The community's great. Um, the situation was perfect for me as far as when I went into, into Ames with Coach Douglas. It was just a perfect storm for me, you know, I mean, I, with the right people at the right time and and uh, why it happened, I don't know, but uh, I'm grateful that I was there and, and uh, at the right time and the right place. It was, all those things were in line. Man, I'm an Olympic champion. I went out there and did it, you know, and it was one of the greatest feelings of my life. I mean, it, it's an awesome feeling, you know, going out there competing for your country, uh, for, your, for your university that you wrestled for, for your high school you wrestled for, for all the people that, that helped you along, you know, it was an awesome feeling, but um, you know, when I heard that national anthem, you know, it sounds a little different now. It's you, you, you listen to the words and, and what it means to be to be an American and, and really compete for this country. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1976 Iowa State wrestlers had one of the most balanced teams in Cyclone history. A total of six Iowa Staters earned All-American honors. Three Iowa State wrestlers, Johnny Jones, Pete Galea, and Frank Santana, were finalists. This squad set the table for the 19, 1977 National Championship team. Celebrating 40 years, we are pleased to welcome back members from the 1976 NCAA, NCAA runner-up team and Big 8 Championship team. Paul Bartlett, Pete Gallia, Ernie Christ, Dave Powell, and Kelly Ward. The road to the 1965 NCAA team title was a roller coaster ride. The Cyclones had a tough semifinal round, and only two Iowa Staters advanced to the championship finals in Laramie, Wyoming. But the Cyclones had a stellar effort in the Constellation medal round. In the finals, both Burl Long and Tom Peckham came from behind to win NCAA titles. The final scoreboard told the story as Iowa State won its first national crown under head coach Harold Nichols. Celebrating 50 years, please welcome back the members of the 1965 NCAA Championship team. Dale Barr, Don Jones, Dick Marcucci, Tom Peckham, Ron Pyle, Roger Siebert, Roger Swanson, and Reg Wicks. Please welcome also a large number of ISU wrestling alumni who are in attendance in today's meet and are lined up along the south side of the, of the map. Please welcome all of our alumni back to celebrate 100 years of Iowa State wrestling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the individuals before you.
represent a program that has produced 209 conference championships won by 131 cardinal and gold grapplers. A total of 149 Cyclones have earned All-American honors 288 times. 49 Iowa State wrestlers have won a total of 69 NCAA individual crowns. These performances were the foundation for eight NCAA team titles in a program that has produced six Olympic gold medalists. Ladies and gentlemen, what a century of Iowa State wrestling.